Assalamualaikum My name is Nur Izati binti Muhammad Basri with metric number AF190181. I'm going to present about company, our company profile. Okay, start with brief company profile. Our company name is Zenith Construction Sendirian Berhad. Company registration number, incorporated number, main registration, head office address, website, email, telephone number and fax number is stated in the picture. Now let's move on to company background. Zenith Construction Syndrome Berhad, also known as ZCSB, is a leading general contractor that was established in 1989 as a civil construction company and is ISO 9001 colon 2015, ISO 14001 colon 2015 and ISO 45001 colon 2018 certified. In addition, ZCSB also is a registered CIDB G7 and registered contractor by Construction Industry Development Board, also known as CIDB company. The ZCSB team is well known for their demonstrated experience and capabilities in their respective fields as well as award winning on time and within budget completions of significant infrastructure projects. As a group, ZCSB envisions quality assurance adherence to the to the most recent standards, adoption of all new technologies, prompt completion of all projects, and total customer satisfaction. This variable serve as our operational policies guiding principles. Next is ZCSB Consultant Team Organizational Chart. Muhammad Hasid bin Muhammad Anis is our consultation team leader and me, Nur Izati binti Muhammad Basri as consultation assistant. And then Atira binti Ali as the consultation member with Nur Shahira binti Rozaini and Nur Kamila binti Bustamam or Zukri. Next, move on to project overview. Project description. Zenith Construction Syndrome Berhad, also known as, as ZCSB, has been appointed to construct a multi-storey building in lot PT34803, Cameron Highlands, Pahang. It is using in-situ reinforced concrete structures. An area of 15 meter times 50 meter has been allocated for the development purpose. This multi-storey building is a commercial building. Since the site is located at average soft soil area, the first impression of the foundation needs to be used in the project is shallow foundation. Regarding to the soil profile for the level 0 to 12 meter, it's being excavated to remove the top soil since the soil is soft, medium brown with light yellow sandy silt so it is not useful for the construction. All the analysis is has fulfilled the minimum requirements specified in the standards or authority reg regulations. The objectives of this project are first to design a foundation and second to check settlements of the foundation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Sibir Manis with material number AF190033. So I will continue for the standard penetration test uh, which is SPT. SPT is the most widely utilized in situ test. SPT used to assess the geotechnical engineering properties of subsurface soils, particularly for cohesionless soils. It is co most commonly used to assess various parameters and properties of soils. Soils bearing capacity, density and angles of sharing resistance may all be determined using SPT. The study was done by Mahajan dot B uh, at 2021. So the code of practice for SPT is ASTM D1586. Next we move to SPT procedures which is number one is bohol must be drilled to desire sampling depths for this test and figure 2.1 shows the standard penetration test equipment. Number two split spoon sampler attached to drill road is placed. And uh, number three is according to BS1377, the hammer should wake 
65 kg and have a drop height of 76 cm. Number 4, from a height of 76 cm, a 65 kg hammer is dropped repeatedly, forcing the sampler into the ground until it reaches a depth of 15 cm. And last but not least, the number of required blows is keep track of this operation is performed two more times until the total penetration is 45 centimeters. So next is SPT value analysis. SPT value analysis is to determining a standard blow count accommodate for hammers of varying efficiency. Because of the original SPT, more hammers has roughly 60% per, 60 efficiency and this is the standard to which other blow count value are compared. This adjusted blow count is referred to as N60 by Braja M. Das and Siva Kuban and at 2019. So table 2.1 shows analysis of SPT value for this project. N60 is given as this formula. N60 is SPT and value corrected for field procedures and apparatus. EM is the hammer efficiency. CB stands for bohol diameter corrections. CS stands for sample barrel corrections. CR is for road length corrections. And N is for raw SPT and value recorded in the field. After that, I will explain a bit about bore law analysis. Bohols are commonly employed in geotechnical site assessment as a cost efficient way to sample material from deeper depths that test pits while causing minimum environmental damage. It is also allowed geotechnical testing equipment to be lowered into the ground, allowing for the measurements and monitoring of groundwater levels, pore pressures, permeability, ground motions, material strengths, in situ stresses, and other parameters. The subsurface geological and geotechnical data collected by drilling boreholes is combined with data gathered through other methods to construct a geotechnical model. This model changes when new information becomes available, serving as a base for foundation engineering project design. Table 2.2 shows the soil profile for this proposed project. So this is a soil profile for our proposed project with depth 0 until 1.5, 1.5 until 6.0 and 6.0 until 12.0. There are given two more columns for descriptions of soils and soil properties. Next, we move to bearing capacity, which is bearing capacity is a result of the interaction between the soils and the structure. It is most commonly connected with building foundations, which are the domain of structural and geotechnical engineers. It is greater stress or strain that our footing can withstand without the soil or rock supporting the footing pelling. Bearing capacity is determined by the shear strength of the soil rock mass, as well as the size and form for the footing and the thickness of the soils or rock close to and above the footing's base. The study was determined by Kater J.R. Uh, at 2018. Next is about settlement. Settlements are vertical movements of the soil that are usually caused by stress changes. The overall settlement of the earth is made up of three parts, which is immediate settlement, also known as elastic settlement, consolidation settlement, also known as primary settlement, and creep settlement, which is uh, secondary settlement. It is depending on the permeability of the soils and the water drainage channels. The settlement process might be finished quickly or take a long period, even decades. Cohesionless soils, in instance, have a higher permeability than cohesive soil with tiny holes that prevent water flow. The entire settling of the soil must be accurately estimated in design and must fulfill the project's criteria. Last but not least, ground improvement is utilized to decrease settlements when the soil characteristics are insufficient to fulfill the aforementioned standards and the design of the superstructure cannot be modified. 
uh, the statements are according to geoengineer. Assalamualaikum, I am Atul Ali. We will present about the deep foundation. Foundation is the part of the structure that connects it to the ground and transmit load from the structure to the earth. One of the foundation type is a deep foundation. The role of deep foundation is to transport the weight of the structure to the firm layers deep beneath the ground. Deep foundations can be chosen in conditions of at a deeper level, the hard layer of earth when the structure load is focused on heavy soils or when a building is run to uneven settlement. For pile foundation, pile foundation are used to transmit loads from superstructure to more compact, less compressible and steeper soil or rock pattern. They are often employed for fish construction and when the soil isn't adequate for preventing excessive settlement. Pile foundations uh, can bear such a heavy loads, they must be meticulously designed. One of the pile foundation type is the square RC piles. Square RC piles are used to increase bearing capacity and decrease settlement at location with weak compressible soil that could not otherwise be built on. Uh, square RC piles are suited for a supporting low, medium and high rise building structure as well as infrastructure in a wide range of soil condition. Column design for project background, a multi-story shop building has been proposed for lot PT34803, Camera Highlands Pahang, uh, and will be built using in situ reinforced concrete structure. Okay, the figure shows the front view and the side view of the multi-story shop building. Yeah, project drawing, this is the architecture drawing for front floor, uh, for the first floor, second floor, flat roof. And also the architecture drawing for ground, first, second, and flat roof. Okay, 
Next, I will explain about the calculation of foundation load from column 1D. Uh, first, we will uh, calculate the specification of the column and then we will find the load bearing capacity and then we will apply the Mayhoff formula. After that, uh, we will calculate the frictional resistance and then we will uh, calculate the group efficiency. After that, we will calculate the ultimate bearing capacity of the column. Next, uh, for settlement of pile, we will using the Meyerhoff formula. And then we will do the detailing of the uh, column. And then next, we will repeat the step for the rest of the foundation. The foundation was assumed to be deep foundation due to the depth of the borehole log. By using the Meyerhoff formula, the log bearing capacity can be determined to get the maximum value of ultimate bearing capacity. So this is uh, how we uh, divide our calculation for column. The Meyerhoff formula was used to determine the pile settlement. Table 4.3 below shows the elastic settlement for each design foundation based on the visible settlement from various orders. Elastic of the settlement for each design are acceptable which are lower than 25mm. A multi-story shop building has been proposed with a size of 300 by 300 mm of pile. Figure 4.1, 4.2 and 4.3 below shows the 3D drawing of the deep foundation. So this is the side view, the top view and the front view. Next for our conclusion. From our calculation and analysis, we can conclude that all soft properties that we obtain from the borehole log and the type of soft are suitable to design the shallow foundation. The types of salt for this project is mostly silty sand, even though there are other two different soils such as clay and salt. The square pad foundation was used in this project due to the depth of the foundation. We propose the pad foundation due to the soft of this and the load of the structure. Pad foundations are used to support an individual point load such as that due to the large column. Calculations of bearing capacity or shallow foundation using my of method was done. Can we conclude that the objective of the project is achieved? Uh, we learned many things in completing this project such as how to read the ball log and to gain the information from it. Besides that, we also applied all the knowledge that we learned from the class to complete this project. Thank you, that's all from us.